What's going on guys? John Kelly here and I just got back literally minutes ago from a backpacking trip out to the Red River Gorge with my buddy Josh. Got a chance to check out a place I've always wanted to check out. Uh, definitely got to cook out the steaks and have just an amazing overnight experience out there. The weather was amazing. We're talking like 50 degrees overnight, 60 degrees during the day yesterday. And when I got home, waiting for me in my living room was this box right here. Uh, now, full disclosure, this is sent to me for free from Keen. Now, before you turn the video off, don't stop. Now stop for a second, don't, don't do the whole, oh, John's selling out, and all I'm doing is an unboxing video, just showing you a new pair of shoes that has come out by Keen, brand new, uh, new to market, that they wanted me to just do an unboxing video for and to show you guys. So I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna check this out and see how it goes. I've never personally owned Keen shoes before, any kind of Keen boots or shoes, but I, I know that they've been around for a while and there's probably a lot of you who are watching who actually own a pair of Keen boots or shoes. So I'm kind of excited about seeing how these go. Okay, let's get this off of here. Let's open them up and see what we have. Ooh. These are the brand new Keen Nexus Trail Runners. Really cool looking shoes, man. These things are, I wanna say this, they're waterproof shoes. And if you if you know me and been watching this channel for a while, you know I'm not crazy about waterproof shoes. I'm not anti-waterproof shoes. I just personally, it's not, usually I don't buy waterproof shoes. One of the reasons is because I just feel like my feet are gonna get wet regardless. But uh, these are interesting, man. They've got a really nice insole. Let me see if I can get this out of here to show you guys. It says, we're on a, we're on a journey to lighten our environmental footprint, walk the walk and give back more than we take. Every step makes an impact, consciously created for a better planet. Uh, it's very soft, very soft, very cushiony, almost uh, kind of like those shoes that have the uh, the memory foam in them. So that's a plus, that feels very comfortable. Also, it's a kind of foam that seems like uh, if it does get wet, it's not gonna soak it up and just kind of hang on to it. That's the problem with a lot of waterproof shoes is the insoles are as big a problem as anything else. Uh, looking at the bottoms of them, uh, a really nice tread. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see how thick and deep that is. Now on first glance, um, it's a good looking shoe. I think these are kind of more of a hybrid shoe, uh, meant to be used as maybe an everyday shoe as well as a, as a backpacking shoe. So uh, from that standpoint, I could wear these in public and not feel like I'm wearing some like bright orange and green pair of shoes or something that, uh, you would normally find from from trail runners. Something that's interesting here, I'm just noticing it looking at it, uh, it's got like a built-in heel lock system. I don't know if you, you guys can see this or not, but right up in here where uh, the lace goes through, when you pull on that, it's pulling on this, this yellow line that runs all the way around to the heel of the shoe right in here which can work as a heel lock. I'm, I'm assuming that's what that is because that's what it looks like. That's great. I personally have an issue with the way my heels are that if I don't have heel locks, shoes really just don't stay on my feet <laughs> because of just the way my heels are. And so knowing that there's a system on this that looks like uh, it retroactively works as a heel lock. The whole shoelacing system is interesting. You've got, it's reinforced. You've got your eyelet but then on the outside of the eyelet is this like little, I don't know how close I can get this with it being in focus, but you've got this little eyelet that's reinforced with that same wiring that's that's kind of around this heel lock area. Uh, my topos that I'm currently wearing, I actually had to go get new topos because it actually tore out an eyelet. Um, the eyelet wasn't reinforced strong enough and it actually pulled it like completely through the eyelet. Another thing I'm noticing is that the toes on these Let's see if you guys could see this. I mean, that reinforcement right through there, I mean, that's that's excellent. Most of your, your trail runners will have some toe reinforcement, but it doesn't come over very far. This actually comes over quite a bit, which is nice. And then you've got like a, a rubberized reinforcement right in behind it here. We all know how much the sides and the toes of trail runners just kind of rip out and tear out. Uh, having one that doesn't do that, is a big plus. On my scale, they weigh about 15.5 ounces a piece. So they're a touch heavy. Um, I mean, not terribly heavy, it's nothing awful, 
but uh, they are a little bit heavier than your typical trail runners. But again, these are kind of a hybrid waterproof shoe. I am curious how they do on the trail. So hopefully this next week, I can at least get a couple day hikes in these right away to see what I think. Uh, first impression, it seems like the toe box isn't as wide as maybe I'm used to on shoes. And I do have wide feet. That's something that I deal with is really wide feet. So we'll see if that, uh, that toe box is wide enough for my feet. Also, I'm gonna try and get them out and just get them soaking wet on the inside and uh, just kind of see how they do as far as like drying out after a long day of hiking. I may make myself miserable doing that, but I think that's probably a good idea to try and do just to see what they're capable of. I know at the end of this month, I'm gonna be out on a trip with these and uh, we'll just have to see what happens. All right guys, I've now been wearing these shoes for about a month. As you can see, we've got some serious uh, dirt and mud built up on these. Um, they're actually a little cleaner than what they were the other day because uh, I did have to walk through a little bit of water. But uh, I have now used these on a backpacking trip on multiple day hikes. I've used them as an everyday shoe and I've even uh, led worship at my church wearing these things. So I have a really good idea of what I think about these shoes. And I'm gonna tell you, I think Keen has hit a home run. Uh, the shoes are extremely comfortable. I love the fact that when I go hiking at one of my favorite places, Shaker Village here in Kentucky, uh, you do a lot of hiking through fields and places like that where dew builds up in the mornings. It was really nice not to have wet feet within the first five minutes of hiking. So uh, the, the waterproofness is fantastic. I walked through ankle deep water, actually got water down into these and uh, the water didn't really get all the way in. It really stayed up near the ankles for the most part. Feet were dry. These seemed to dry out pretty quickly, which surprised me because uh, waterproof shoes aren't known to do that really well. Also, the heel lock system is fantastic. I'm really, really liking these shoes. I'd say definitely go to your local outfitter, see if they've got these on hand and try them out. Or if you wanna get online and find out more about that, I will put a link in the description below where you guys can go check these Keens out for yourself. I wanna say a huge thank you to Keen for sending me these shoes so I could check them out. And I wanna thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you find out anytime one of these videos drops. And until next time, stay strong, hike long, and I will catch you on the next go round.